A momentous decision by President Obama, his choice to fill a vacant seat on the United States Supreme Court. An announcement from the White House could come as early as tomorrow. But as the president made clear in an interview over this weekend, his nominee will have to bring more to the bench than mere legal expertise. What I want uh, is not just ivory tower learning. I want somebody who has uh, the intellectual firepower, but also uh, uh, a little bit of a common touch and, and has a, a practical sense of how the world works. Those criteria of common sense, practicality, uh, a sense of uh, you know, what ordinary Americans are going through every day, uh, putting that in the mix uh, when their uh, judges are uh, looking at cases before them is very important. And joining us live now from Washington is senior legal correspondent Jan Crawford Greenberg, who has been covering the selection process for us. And Jan, the buzz has been loudest about three women so far. Judge Sonia Sotomayor, who would be the first Hispanic on the bench, Judge Diane Wood, who taught law school with President Obama, and Solicitor General Elena Kagan, the former dean of Harvard Law School. Based on your reporting and the president's interview over the weekend, is any one of these three emerging as a front runner? Well, Elizabeth, I think based on his comments and what I'm hearing from some of my sources, this really points our focus to the top two contenders, Judge Sotomayor and Judge Wood. They both have that judicial experience and that life experience that President Obama was talking about. Judge Sotomayor, of course, would be, as you said, the first Hispanic. She grew up in a New York housing project and then went on to the highest levels of education, federal judge, uh, now federal appeals court judge. Judge Diane Wood also brings that life experience, but she's a real intellectual heavyweight. She taught at the University of Chicago. She's one of the leading experts on international trade. But also, when she went to the University of Chicago, she was the only woman on the faculty. She was pregnant. She couldn't take any time off because the school didn't have a pregnancy leave policy. So she's a working mother, mother of three. The third, Judge uh, Solicitor General Elena Kagan, doesn't have quite those compelling life experience stories. So she's more of that ivory tower leaner that uh, President Obama said maybe he was looking for something a little more. So I, we're looking at really the top two as Judges Sotomayor and uh, Judge Wood. We've heard so much about uh, the empathy factor as President Obama cited in his search for the next justice. But he also really wants someone who can be an intellectual and persuasive counterbalance to Justice Scalia and Chief Justice Roberts. And that, again, really points us to the middle nominee that we've been talking about, prospective nominee, Judge Wood. On that Chicago-based federal appeals court, she has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the leading intellectual conservatives in the country, Judges Frank Easterbrook and Richard Posner. She's very highly regarded on that court. So if you look at his comments yesterday, it's really Judge Wood who kind of emerges as someone who fits both that intellectual firepower, a great writer, but also that life experience, the life lived. She's known that struggle and juggle of raising those kids and being a working mom right. at the University of Chicago. And what, what do your sources tell you? Has he actually made his decision yet? And if so, does the nominee know that it is her or him? Well, unless he made it overnight and made that phone call this morning, my sources are saying he has not decided and the nominees have not uh, been informed that they're still being told that he has not decided. So, you know, unless we he, something developed, you know, at four in the morning, uh, no, the answer is no. Jan Crawford Greenberg, and of course, Chris, we were talking earlier, Jan and I, that there's always the chance that when he makes this announcement, it'll be somebody that we haven't been That's talking exactly about right. all these weeks. A small chance, but a chance nonetheless. That's why you always got to couch it. I like Jan exactly. there. Unless my the call was just made last exactly. week. Exactly.